Hey, new market, did you know the active listing count has risen by 45% since the end of May? Keep watching to find out what that means for you. Hey, I'm Darcy Toombs, broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, and this is the top four things that you need to know what happened in the month of June, 2023. Hey, before we start, I'd really like to thank Event Market for allowing us to film here today. Located at Riverwalk Commons in downtown Newmarket, this is an amazing space for anyone looking to host an event with some serious wow factor. From bridal and baby showers to birthday parties, celebrations of life and corporate events, their team will help you create a custom experience that will have your guests reminiscing for years to come. Contact Sam to book your event today. You'll find her contact information in the video description. Okay, so let's get at it. Number one, there was only 100 sales in the month of June, which is actually the second lowest number of sales in June, dating back to 2010. This is extremely important because June is typically one of the busiest months of the summer as buyers and sellers are trying to lock up their real estate plans before start of summer holidays. Number two, year to date sales are at historic lows. With only 560 sales reported year to date at the end of June, 2023 has been the second slowest year for sales dating back to 2000 with year-to-date sales at the end of June 2018 being the slowest, when sales were only 547 for the same time. The market was still in decline in 2018 after the 2017 correction. Prices didn't actually bottom out until December 2018. However, the big difference between 2023 and 2018 is interest rates. In 2018, the key bank interest rate was slowly ticking up, but was still below 2% as opposed to the 4.75% we have today. If we see another interest rate increase on July 12th, we could see a further slowdown in the market. Number three, inventory is rising. There was 166 active listings at the end of June, but that number has already increased to 188 by July 8th. That's a 45% increase since the end of May. I am expecting to see active inventory increase over 200 in July, which will be the first time we've seen that many homes listed at once since September 2020. However, I want to remind you that in normal times, seeing more than 250 homes listed at a given time would be considered healthy. We are still challenged by the lack of inventory, which has been fueling home prices. At number four, 68% of all reported sales were either at or above the asking price in June 2023. This is a strong indicator that sellers are still playing the price it low to get multiple offers approach, but there have been several cases where this strategy did not pay off and the offers were coming in short of what the seller's expectations were. We are not suggesting this to most clients right now as there's too much unknown and buyers seem to be tiring of it. Not to mention, you lose a lot of time and momentum if you don't hit the number you are expecting. So in closing, the market is shifting. As explained in points two and three, we have an increasing number of homes to choose from and fewer monthly sales to burn off the inventory. Properties are increasingly taking longer to sell, which means you need to make sure you're priced right and presented well to catch the first few buyers that come through in the initial days of being on the market. As those buyers are usually the ones waiting for the new listings to pop and are ready to make an offer. Real estate is still a very desirable asset, especially for families who wanna have security over the roof over their head and not be paying for someone else's mortgage. We've seen a slight decline in investor purchases for the last two months as interest rates in other investment vehicles are supplying investors with a safer, more liquid investment opportunity. And if you have any questions about the information in this report, please reach out. If you're a homeowner and you wanna get an idea on what your home is worth in today's market, we would love to have a conversation with you to provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation to give you a realistic idea of what your home may be worth so you can strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.